So if you've been watching, I've been doing a lot of trills on MySQL. And you know that in the past, uh, if I did database stuff, I usually used CSV files, which are comma-separated values uh, or comma-separated... I think the V could stand for something else, but I always say values. Um, and those are just plain text files. And those are convenient because no matter where you go, as long as you have a text editor and tools like grep or awk, I mean, the anybody can open up and look at these databases uh, if you send them to them. So they're very compatible. There are some drawbacks. One with them, uh, at least by default, multiple people can't access them at once because only one person can be editing a text file at a time. Two, uh, if you're working with really large databases, they can be kind of slow. Um, and in some cases, it's a little difficult just to uh, change information. You know, putting in information and taking out information and organizing information is easy, but manipulating the information in some cases can be a little bit difficult. Um, it's possible, but difficult. So we've been going over MySQL, which is a lot more widely used, especially for websites and stuff. But let's say you, you had a MySQL database uh, and you wanted to put that into a CSV format for whatever reason, for importing into another program that doesn't accept MySQL just for a simple text backup or for whatever reason that maybe someone you're working on a MySQL database someone else created and you decide, you know what, I'm, I just want to stick with SCV, you can export it to SCV. And that's what we're going to do today. Very similar to the command to backing up uh, your MySQL database, which I went over in a previous tutorial. And we're using a tool called MySQL Dump. If you installed MySQL on your system, should be installed already. We're going to say dash u for user. We're going to log in as root dash p and my password. And then um, what we're going to want is we're going to say dash capital T. And then where we're going to be dumping this file to, we'll just say uh, to our temp folder. And then the name of our database, we'll say films by Chris. And then the name of our table that we want to dump into the, uh, the CSV files. So uh, database is called uh, Films by Chris. Table is called Users. Now, if we were to just dump it like that, we'll go ahead and hit Enter. If we type cat temp, and it will create a file named user, since that's a table name, we'll hit enter. Now you'll see that when I hit tab complete, it doesn't complete all the way, because if we hit tab twice, you'll see that there's an SQL file and a text file. So by default, it still backs up to an SQL file, but the text file is what we're interested in then. I'm gonna view it, and we haven't made it a comma separated uh, file yet. We've created a tab separated file. So if we hit enter, you can see all the information from that table, but they're separated by tabs, which is the way some people work with. I don't like that. Obviously just cutting it out, it looks kind of messy. Um, so let's add more to our command. Uh, so I'll just hit up arrow twice. So we have MySQL dump dash u for user, root is our user, dash p for password. Uh, my password is Linux in this case for this test file. No space between the p and the password. Dash capital T, and then the folder you want to uh, back stuff up to. Database name, films by Chris. The table name, uh, user. Now we're gonna add a dash dash fields dash terminated dash by equals, and then whatever character you want to separate your fields by. So traditionally, it would be a comma. We'll hit enter. And now if we cat out our, our uh, user's text file that we just saved to our temp folder, you can see now it is comma separated. Um, just doing it that way can cause problems if for some reason there was a comma in one of those fields that can throw things off. So you can be like me where I usually use a pipe symbol because people don't usually type that into fields. I mean, besides uh, programmers, I don't think anyone uses the pipe symbol. So I can do that. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's put that inside quotations because uh, uh, it actually thinks I'm trying to pipe that information into something else. So put that inside quotations and probably a good idea even if you're just doing a comma to put that in quotations just to be more proper. Uh, so now if I cut that out, you can see that it's divided by the um, the pipe symbol. Uh, I'm going to be daring and try something I haven't tried yet. 
I'm just going to say, I'm going to put more information into here. I'll say field. Now if I cat that out. So there you go. You can divide it up by more than just a single character. You can actually put, I spelt fields wrong. Anyway, um, but another option, which is probably a little more proper, and especially if you're going to be importing this into like an Excel spreadsheet, which would be another reason you want to export to CSV, or I shouldn't say Excel, but a spreadsheet, uh, whether it be Excel or uh, sheets with uh, OpenOffice or LibreOffice, whatever you're using, usually they'll allow importation of um, CSV files into the spreadsheets. So you could just do the comma, that'd be fine, or a special character. Um, but a more appropriate way is to do dash dash uh, fields. And once again, if I could spell fields right, equals enclosed by equals, and you can just do uh, backslash to let them know that this is the character you want and single quote or and quotes. You could probably do single quotes like that, but we're going to do backslash quote because I know that works. Backslash quotations. We'll hit enter now. If we cat out that file, wait, did I get an error there? Do 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 variable unknown. Oh. That should be an I, not an O. Okay, now if we cut out that file, you can see the fields are not only separated by commas, but they're all enclosed in quotations. And uh, importing into a spreadsheet, usually they'll ask you if it is enclosed by uh, quotations. So that will help fix that issue if there is a comma inside one of those fields. And now you can take that CSV file, manipulate it, or import it into a spreadsheet um, so a lot of useful things you can do with it. So, uh, I thank you for watching and we'll have more MySQL or sorry, my SQL tutorials coming up real soon.